What is good guys, we're with the all deciding game World Cup tiebreaker, Brovis playing for North East, Zomak playing for US West, so Brovis did bring Stall, and this is kind of similar to the Stall that High brought versus the Trap God uh, in World Cup, it's like 1-1 one, one difference, so double birds, I assume it's gonna be double defog, uh, rocks on the Hippowdon, unaware Pukumuku, uh, like heal belt on the Chansey, softball, seismic toss, last move, most likely toxic, but we'll have to see. On Zomok's side, the Volcano could either be Specs or it could be a sub left of variant. Then I'm thinking it's Mega Tita, it could also be Banter though, I'm not 100% sure. But it's either Rocks, Mega Tita, or if the Tita is Bandit, then it's Rocks on the Clef. Most likely Z move, Excadrill, uh, Sand Rush, with like SD, Iron Head, Earthquake, Rapid Spin, Cork School Crash is what I'm thinking. Uh, Assault Vest, Tangros, and then a hur um, Hurricane Knock of Tornadoes. I'm not sure if, it need, if this Torn is gonna have Heat Wave because he has like other ways to check Kartana kinda. Uh, if the Tita is the Rocker, then the Clef is gonna be Calm Mind. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Zomox team. And on Brofist's side, I assume it's gonna be like near Max Defense or Max Defense at Powdown to check uh, stuff like Mega Mawal as good as you can. But yeah, turn one here, I assume Brofist is just gonna protect, get the Mega Evolution out for free with the Sableye. Uh, if he has protect, that is, I assume he's gonna have that. And yeah, Zomok can pull the switch out here, or if he's sub, I guess he can go for sub. But not like this Volcanion is a big threat for Brofist. Chansey and Pukumuku both should be able to deal with this Volcanion quite easy, no matter what it is. Like, if it's specs, that's fine for Brofist. If it's sub lefties, that's also fine. So this is not a big threat for him. Uh, Excadrill is usually also like I already told you guys to said that Excadrill is most likely gonna be SD Iron Head of Quick Spin. So it's probably walled by the two birds and the Hippodon can also check the Excadrill slash wall it even. But yeah, I'm thinking definitely double defog on Brofist's side. Um, there's also a chance I mean there's a chance he only has defog on Moltres and then a Zapdos could be a three attacks roost variant. But the Zapdos doesn't necessarily need Heatwave because Moltres can also beat Kartana for Brofist. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna see a protect. If Brofus doesn't have protect, um, a hard switch into Chansey or Pukumuku is also an option here. And Zomok is either gonna sub down or switch out into like um, Clefable maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I was talking with my friend T earlier. I was, okay, Brofus does Mega Evolve and just go for protect. And Zomok shows substitute. So now either Chansey or Pukumuku has to come out here. Um, Zoma can either try to fish for a burn with steam eruption or he can double out. So he does double out in the Tita, anticipating most likely a Chansey to come out, as Brofus does go on a Chansey. So now, um, the, the, like it kind of depends what Brofus wants to do here. If, he's, if he thinks it's Bantar, Softball is a potential play, uh, Hard Powder is a potential play, or if he thinks it's Megatar, um, Hard Sable is also a potential play, predicting the rocks, but that's like a risky play. Safest play is probably Softball or go hard into the Powder. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, well, I think, I'm thinking this is Mega Tita because Zomok's team is a bit weak to Heatran. Like, it can't really switch into Heatran is what I'm trying to say. Especially with Rocks up, like, Volcanion is not a good switch in. It can get bought by, like, Off Power or Magma Storm with Rocks up. So just go hard into Sableye. Zomok is Mega and goes for Rock. And how did Brofus know? <laughs> Gets the play right and is in a great spot early on. Chat's going wild. Also, like, yeah, like, Tita just helps him check. Heatran better, that's why I thought it would be Mega, and it is Mega, but rocks. So it's gonna be Stone Edge. Um, yeah, you see, you see Fire Punch sometimes on, on Mega Tar. You could, and then the last move could be like um, Pursuit or Ice Beam, I guess. And yeah, Brofus. Uh, the Sable is most likely Protect Knock of Recover, and the last move is a status move, either Will O Wisp or Toxic. And yeah, like if Zomok is fearing a Will O Wisp, he has to switch out into Clef here. If he's not fearing a Will-O-Wisp, we could see um, a Stone Edge, I guess, from Zomok here. Brofist doesn't necessarily need the Sableye at full, though, so he can potentially have the Sableye take a uh, Stone Edge and uh, either go for Wisp or Toxic to status the Titar. Because, like, yeah, he doesn't need the Sableye. Like, Zapdos, he has Zapdos for Tornadoes. Pukumuku, Hippowdon, um, should be able to deal with this Titar. He has Rocks up early on in the game, which is huge for him, even though if Zomok gets up rocks later on, uh, Brofus is gonna have to defog, but at the moment he only has rocks on the other side, he's in a great position. Um, so there's the Stone Edge, do we see Whisper Toxic? We do see a Toxic, okay. So now a potential play here for um, Zomok is going for rocks, predicting the switch, 
Or he could also go for Pursuit if he has that predicting the switch. Uh, I don't think Brofus is gonna just throw the Sableye out. Unless unless Brofus wants to stay in predicting a Pursuit or the Rocks from Zomok's side. The Toxic is huge though, um, putting the Tita on a timer. I mean, Wisp would've, Wisp would've also been good because I would've had the attack and Sableye would've just been able to stay in and wall the Tita. But Toxic is also pretty good and it's gonna rack up. So he does switch on the opponent. Does he predict that and go for Rocks? No, he does just go for Stone Edge. And I don't think um, Zomok wants to stay in and go for rocks here. He's probably gonna have to switch out into either Clefable, Tangorus, or Tornadus here. I think Clefable is definitely a good play here. And, um. Like, you definitely don't wanna stay in and take an Earthquake plus Toxic damage just to get out rocks. That's not worth it because you would, like, kinda just lose his. You would lose his Tita in the process almost. So Zomok is definitely gonna switch out here, is what I'm thinking. Um. So Brovis could either Earthquake, he could Toxic, or he could pull a switch. We also see that this uh, Hippodon doesn't have leftovers, so it's gonna be a Rocky Helmet variant. Um, yeah, like Rocks, Slack of Earthquake is really obvious. Last move is a Toxic or Whirlwind, most likely Toxic, as he does go for that and reveals it. So Clef comes out, I'm pretty sure there's a Common Clef since he has uh, Rocks on the Mega Tita. So probably Common Moonblast, Softbolt, and the last move could either be a Coverage move. Could be Flamethrower, could be... Um, I don't think it needs to be Ice Beam, he already has Glyphcore checks. Could be Stored Power, could be T-Wave, could be, yeah. If it's T uh, if it's Stored Power, um, that can potentially be really good for him to just to break through the Chansey and the P Unaware Pukumuku. But yeah, Brovis can um, just switch out the end of Chansey or Pukumuku. Pukumuku has Unaware and takes like 20 to 30, I assume, from a Moonblast. And Chansey, um, if the Clefable comments up to plus 6, um, I think uh, he doubles in the T-Tap rate and Chansey to come out, I think. As uh, Moltres comes out. Yeah, Moltres was also a potential play on Clefable. Uh, because it obviously resists Moonblasts. Unless Clefable is um, t that can't really touch the Moltres. But like the only way this Clefable is a threat is if it's stored power. Like any other Clefable gets walled easily by the... Oh, he has sub on this Moltres. That's really cool. Um, Zomok is going to be forced out. So I'm thinking it's sub Roost Flamethrower. And the last move is probably either Defog or maybe HP Ground to help with the Heatran matchup. But I'm thinking Defog makes sense just to have double Defog, double Hazard removal. To make sure the rocks don't go on your side, um, which is like really important with a stall team. Someone has to switch out because the toxic is going to rack up. Um, I guess Volcanion might come out here because it can take flamethrower quite easily. It has leftovers to cancel out the sandstorm um, damage. I think Volcanion is definitely going to come out. And Brovist, um, if he has Devok, he should just click it here. Like Zoma could stay and keep clicking rocks. But he would die to Toxic, and the Moltres would just Devog on the next one that comes out after, so there's like no point in staying in as he does go into Tornadus. Okay, so maybe this is a bulky Tornadus. But yeah, Brofus uh, can either Roost or Flamethrower here. Also, Substitute is really cool on Moltres because it helps you scout Banta. As uh, Zoma goes in the Volcano, knowing that the Flamethrower is going to come out, PP stalls the Flamethrower out there. Like, Sub is really cool, you can scout if Banta wants to go for Stone Edge of a Pursuit. That's actually really fire. We will have to see. Uh, maybe he also has sub on Zapdos so that Banta can like, never trap his birds. So he does just go for Roost. And yeah, we see the Moltres as fast as so the Moltres can technically just sub down again here. Because the Steam Eruption just got. Um, Zomok just lost two Steam Eruption PP on his Volcanion. So he only has six left now. So um, Brofus can either play it safe, it's, he, as he does play it safe, uh, which is going into either Pukumuku or Chansey, or he could have subbed down again. Now he has to go into most likely the Zapdos here. He obviously doesn't want to let Chansey get knocked off and lose the Violite. I assume Zomog is just going to click knock off here, because it will be able to um, get rid of an item. Zapdos comes out and most likely loses the leftovers. Yep. So Roost and t -Bolt. I think this is t -Bolt because he has Toxic spam. He showed Toxic on the Sableye on, on the Hippowdon. The chance he might also have Toxic. So t -Bolt definitely makes more sense than Discharge because you don't want to paralyze the opposing ones. You want to Toxic them. And uh, let's see. So t -Bolt, Roost, Defog. I don't think it's Heatwave because he already has like Motrus for Kartana. Not sure if the last move is Sub as well. But yeah, we could see a switch here into either Motrus... Chansey or... Okay, he does just T-Bolt again, which is also a fine play. And Zomok reveals T-Wave, so it's most likely, yeah. T-Wave, Softbolt, Moonblast, and Calm Mind. So this is not a threat at all for Brofist, and it's looking really bad for Zomok, because, yeah, like, this Chansey can never break Brofist's team, basically. Chansey should, like, from plus six um, Moonblast, I think Chansey um, takes, like, 44 to 50-ish, and Pukumuko only takes, because it has underwear, takes, like, nothing, like, 25 to 30, maybe. So um, this Clefable will get this Clefable will get pp stalled easily. So there's like not really a point in setting up call mines. 
And Pukumuku can also potentially uh, PP stall it even easier if it has block in spite, which is the set that Hai used on the on his Pukumuku in that game versus the Trap God in World Cup. Was it semi-finals or finals? I don't remember. But yeah, there's a T I think it was in finals. That was like the last game that made it so we had to go to tiebreak, I think. Yeah. So he does go for T-Wave. I assume we do Rofus just seismic tosses here, exactly. And the leftovers obviously help Zomok here, but like I said, this Clefable is not a big threat at all. Volcanion is, is walled by Chansey plus Pukumuku. Clef is walled by the same two, maybe even by the Moltres. Excadrill is kept in check easily by the birds, uh, unless it has Rock Slide, and also Hippodon can probably take the Excadrill on. Tangus is not a threat at all, unless it has Rock Slide, I guess it can catch the Moltres off guard if it has Rock Slide. Tita is almost dead and is on a timer and is toxic. Tornadus can knock off everything, Hurricane Confuse stuff, but like between Zapdos and Moltres and Pressure, um, I think the Tornadus will get PP stalled. I know what the other moves on the Torn are though. Um, he didn't reveal that yet, right? So, um, Brofus finally goes into Pukumuku, and he might just want to go back to Chansey. Zomok is either going to switch out or um, T Wave here. But yeah, it's not looking too good for Brofus. Like, I'm, I just went over his team. Like, his team is pretty much walled by Brofus. Um, and we saw that the, the Tornadus was not life orb what is the item on this torn could be rocky helmet could be um but yeah he catches the chanty there obviously brovis has to switch here back into his zapdos most likely zomok doesn't really have a good play to punish the zapdos i mean what he has to do is um try to stall out the zapdos out of roosts and out of um T bolts and then maybe tornadoes can put in some work, but between Chansey and the two birds and like I don't think tornadoes is gonna be able to pull through. He does just knock off pressure from Zapdos makes it so he loses two knockoff PP there. I think he has 28 left now. If I I think he used knockoff twice so far and both were on Zapdos so P four PP were used right. If I'm not mistaken. So Zomok has to switch here. I guess he can stay in and take one hit and chip down the Zapdos a little bit. But he does just go into Tangros. And now we can see if it's AV or Helmet. That's definitely AV. Makes a lot of sense. Um, extra answer for Ash Greninja. And just to scout Gun in general what Greninja set the opponent uses in case. Like, obviously, Brofus doesn't have a Greninja. But you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? If the opponent has a Ninja, you can just scout the set with the Tangros, with the Tangros usually. And, yeah, Brofus can't touch this Tangros. Like, I'm not sure what his last move is. It is Protect. Wow. So, that yeah, he has Sub on Motors and Protect on Zapdos. That's really cool. Combined with toxic, like sub double pressure with sub protect, like sub and motors talk protect on Zapdos, PP stall and toxic stall, really cool. And also scout what banter locks itself into, as I said earlier. So you guys decide to go on the motors and let that get knocked off. Gets rid of two knock of PP on the Tangros, and yeah, Zomok has can just go into his Volcanion here because this motors cannot touch the Volcanion and he will get some leftovers recovery. Um, Brofist could just sub or roost, or he could also switch out. Mm, like, the only way Tangros can touch this is if, it is, is if it has Rock Slide. Maybe he roosted in case it had Rock Slide to scout for that, but I think he just wanted to be healthy. And now he can either go to Pukumuku Chansey, as does us decide to go into Chansey. And Zomok does double out on the Torn, and yeah, he just threatens the Chansey with a knockoff, so obviously Brofist wants to go back to his Zapdos. This is kind of repetitive now. So Zapdos is getting chipped a little bit. Okay, so knock off Hurricane. Um, other potential moves are Superpower, U turn, Heat Wave, ta Taunt. Um, four of those moves, I think, are going to be the last two moves. We're going to have to see. Two out of those four, pretty much. And yeah, if he's not Rocky Helmet, he could be Metronome Tornadoes, I guess. But I'm pretty sure Z move is most likely on the X Cadrill. As he does have Taunt. So Taunt, knock off Hurricane, is set in stone. And last move is not sure yet. But yeah, I'm thinking the Zapdos, it didn't reveal Defog yet, but I'm pretty sure Defog is the last move on Zapdos. So um, now Zoma can just... Okay, he knocks off again. I was gonna say he can... Yeah, he can do that. Or he could have switched out into, like, the Tangrowth there. But yeah, now Zoma obviously has to switch out to get Regen. Does decide to go into Tita, which helps him chip down the Zapdos a little bit more with Sandstorm. And Zapdos cannot roost because it's taunted. But now the Tita is almost dead. And um, yeah, Brovis has to, like, either roost here or... Hmm... <laughs> 
Yeah, he has to roost because he doesn't want to take his Stone Edge, basically. And Zoma gets his rocks up. And now, um, Brofus might have to go for Protect here, because I don't know how much Stone Edge would do. Um, I think Zomok is just gonna switch out, because he doesn't uh, give the Tita up just yet. But yeah, Brofus does go for Protect, just in case uh, Zomok wanted to stay and go for Stone Edge. And now Brofus can just go for Defog here. Yeah, like, now the Tita is almost dead, and yeah, I don't think Zomok can get rocks up ever again. With a 17% Tita. I mean, even if he does, the double default makes it so Brofus should uh, definitely get an opportunity to get, to get rid of the rocks again. So, um, potential play here is Earthquake predicting a Roost. Uh, I definitely think Brofus is just gonna Roost here. As, yeah, he did reveal Defog on this, so now it's confirmed Defog, T Bird, Protect, Roost, Zap those. As um, Zomok now knows that Excadrill Wall is completely. So, he could potentially get up by SD. Brofus has to go into like either Pukumuku or Hip Hardon. Or goes Moltres, okay. I mean, Moltres also walls Excadrill unless it's Rock Slide, but that's unlikely. So, um, if this is max HP Torn and it can live a Flamethrower, then we could see a knockoff here from Zomok. Or he could switch out in the Volcanion. Because he does fire over Hurricane, okay. Then, oh, yeah, the, the, the Moltres was already knocked off. My bad, I forgot about that. But yeah, he does confuse the Zapdos, but he still doesn't want to stay in and risk um, losing his. His tornadoes because he was in range of T Bolt. So now, um, Brofus is confused, so I think he's gonna switch out. So, yeah, he has Pukumuku and a Powder that can deal with this, and the two birds can also deal with this. So, yeah, he did go Moltres on this earlier, but I think now he should go maybe a uh, Hippowdon or Pukumuku. Just in case, I like, it's really unlikely that it has Rock Slide, but just to scout for it, kind of. I'm just thinking it's the SD Rapid Spin, Iron Head, Earthquake, Coxco, Crash, Excadrill. That is the Excadrill that is the most common um, in OU. Um, does Zomok have a good double to pressure anything? Not really. But yeah, Brofus does just go into Moltres. There's the SD. And... Yeah, I mean... I don't think... I think this is just Spin Drill. I don't think it's 3 attacks and I, I think it doesn't have Rock Slide. As Volcano comes out knowing that it can live a Flamethrower with ease. And now um, Brofus can either sub or switch out into Pukumuku or Chansey to eat up any hit that Volcano wants to go for. Zomok doubles into Torn, which is a good play. He's going to get his regen here. If he switches out again, he's back at full. And Brofus is going to switch uh, most likely back into Zapdos. I guess Moltres, if it has some Spadef investment, can also potentially check this. But yeah, Zapdos does come out. That's obviously the correct play. And Zomok switches out into Excadrill, knowing that um, the Zapdos doesn't have Heatwave or any coverage to hit the Excadrill. But yeah, he went into Moltres twice on his drill so far. Like I said, I would change it up eventually and go either hit Pardon or Pukumuku. But there's the SD again. So now he's most likely going to Flamethrow again, not wanting to play around with a plus to Excadrill. Zomok knows that it's most likely... Uh, Flamethrow is going to come out and goes into Volcanion. And he's either going to double back or he's going to attack. Yeah, he doubles back into Tornadoes again. So this is repetitive. He's doubling out. But yeah, Brofus is never going to stay in and, uh, and allow the chance to get knocked off. That would just be a really bad play, allowing your chance to get knocked off. So back into Zapdos, he's getting some chip on Zapdos, and yeah, he pretty much has to start the roost from Zapdos. Um, taunts there, in case Brofus wants to go for a roost, as he does try to go for a roost. And now he can live a T-Bolt, right? Um, I'm thinking this Tornadoes might have some bulk investment. Like, I'm not sure if it's max HP. Okay, it takes 79. Yeah, I think if it's not bulk invested, it definitely would have done like 90. Like, the roll is like 90 to 104, I think, if it's not bulk invested, or like 89 to 104. So, Tornadoes definitely has some sort of HP investment. So, Excadrill can SD on Zapdos for free. Brofus just goes for a roost, knowing that it doesn't matter if the Excadrill SDs up because he has unaware Pukumuku in the back. And, I mean, even Motors should be able to deal with this. But yeah, he goes Pukumuku, knowing that it can take anything. And, I mean, Brofus could probably just go for recover here in case this is Groundium drill, and that would do a lot potentially. Um, but yeah, as Moctus chat says, as the mode breaker won. Um, yeah, I mean, start power and clef would have also been huge, but I mean, Brofus has good matchup, I feel like, but he also played really well. I, I don't know how he knew that the Tita would go for rocks early on in the game. I mean, you could tell from the team that it's a bit heat weak, so it's most likely Megata, but that was definitely a good read on Brofus's part. But yeah, um, he doubled into drill on Zapdos. I mean, I don't have to comment on every switch because the switches are like really obvious. Um, maybe Zomak has to go for um, for reaching turn 1000 because I don't think he can break Brofist's team. So um, 
I hope this. I obviously hope it doesn't go to turn one thousand because I would sit here for like fucking. Um, I didn't mean to say that. I would have to sit here for like a lot of hours. <laughs> so does he just seismic toss here? Yep. Volcanion subs up. And Zong is gonna have to switch out here into either Fable Tangros or Tornadus. Brofus can either seismic toss again or switch out into Pukumuku or something like that. Goes into her powder instead. Okay. So now. Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know if Zomak wants to stay in and risk getting toxic on a tornado. So he might he might want to taunt or he might want to switch out. He might want to go clef here because yeah, he does just go for taunt in case. So the Hepalon yeah, he taunts there because he doesn't want rocks to go up, obviously. So that made complete sense. And he didn't also didn't want um, to get toxic. The taunt was the correct play because you want to prevent rocks from the Hepalon. Brovis made a good play going Zapdos, which stalled out two taunt PP, and then Zomok went back into drill knowing that it can take the T build with ease. And now Brovis is most likely gonna flamethrower as Zomok SD'd up and Moltres switched into Brovis switched into Moltres, I'm mixing up the words. So Volcanion can come out again and just get some free leftovers recovery because flamethrower does absolutely nothing to that. So Zomok is most likely just gonna switch to his um Volcanion. Um, pretty much Brofist's goal should be getting up rocks eventually with the Hapaudon. And he's uh, obviously Rocky Helmet upon because he didn't have leftovers. So if Zomok wants to spin, he would have to take Rocky Helmet and his drill would get uh, worn down. So yeah, if, if Brofist can get up rocks, that would speed up the game for sure. Um, otherwise, this game can take forever. Especially with Zomok having double regen. And lefties on Clefable, Magic Guard on Clefable and lefties on Volcanion. But yeah, I don't think Zomok wants to stay in... He's most likely just gonna go back into his Volcanion. But yeah, I, I think this team is probably gonna get spammed on old T ladder. That's what people usually do. If like some new stall comes up in a tour game, people like steal that team and use it on the ladder. But the team is a bit weak to Tapu Lele, I feel like, unless it has some hidden tech that I don't see at the moment. But like a common Z move, Tapu Lele is a big threat to this team, so. I personally wouldn't use this team on the ladder, but that's just me. So Flamethrower is 11%. Uh, so Zoma can either double out here or um, just like Steam Eruption, I guess, or Flamethrower. So 15 subs left, 20 Flamethrowers left. So it doubles in the Tornadoes as Brovis just goes for sub playing it. I mean, sub is a completely fine play. He's faster than the Volcanion and he would be able to BB stall it. So I guess Zoma can just switch back into the Volcanion here. Yeah, I get, yeah. Zoma can just switch back into the Volcanion. Or well, he does go for Taunt, okay, which um, means Brofist can't go for Roost. I personally would have gone back to Volcanion, because uh, I don't think it matters if the Motus is at 76 or at full, but that's also a fine play. For Zomok, he kind of has to be careful with his Taunt PP, because every time he taunts one of the two birds, he loses. Uh, he has to Steam Eruption to break the sub. Okay, Flamethrower is also a fine play, and that breaks. Um, oh, I did he Flamethrower already, or why did that break in one? I'm not sure. But yeah, um, it's, it's looking rough for Zomok, basically. So Chansey can Seismic Toss or Double Out is an option. Like, Double into her Pardon there would have been really cool because he could have gotten Rocks up on the Clef. But yeah, it would have also been unnecessarily risky, so I get why he just Seismic Toss. So her Pardon comes out and Moonblast does 31, so Brovis just wants to slack off here. You don't want to risk anything. If you don't slack off here, here your Pardon gets super low. So yeah, Brovis is definitely just going to click slack off here. Uh, Zomo could Moonblast again or he could switch. Mm -mm -mm. But like I said earlier already, Calm Mining up with the Clefable doesn't really accomplish anything because it doesn't have start power or any other... It only has Moonblast and T-Wave, Softboard Moonblast. It doesn't have a way to break through the Chansey Pukumuku combo from Brofist and even... Well, I think the Moldress would take a lot from plus 6 Moonblast. But does he go for Slack Off? Otherwise he's kind of screwed here. Yeah, he does make the correct play. And yeah, I guess Zomok just Moonblasted there in case Brofist messed up and didn't go for Slack Off. Because this is a hard... Like, Zomok is in a tough spot, so he kind of has to hope his opponent misplays. Rufus doesn't misplay there. So now he kind of has to taunt again here to prevent the rocks slash toxic. Oh, he doubles in the drill that covers the toxic. Wow. If Rufus turned for rocks, that would have been bad for Zomok, but Zomok reads it correct. But now rocks go up. <laughs> yeah, rocks go up now, so I don't know if... I mean, I get that he kind of couldn't keep doing that. Like, he could not keep taunting, because eventually he would just run out of taunt PP. So Earthquake's there, uh, potentially. I mean, he just wants to get some chip, and now he can switch out to either Chansey or Pukumuku. Let's go Pukumuku, as Zomo catches that with a T-Wave. But I'm thinking this is Recover Block Pukumuku, like I said earlier. So 
It could be either the Spite set or it could be the um, Soak Toxic set. Um, there's also the move on Pukumuku that uh, removes the opposing ability, like Glisco's ability. Okay, it's Block. So Block Recover is confirmed. Like, what is the move called that removes the opposing ability as long as you stay on the field? Pex also gets that move. I forgot the name. I will put it in the description because I can't think of it at the moment. But yeah, um, uses another taunt there, two taunt PP gone because of pressure. And Zomok might, this might be a roll t bolt, so I don't think Zomok should stay in here. He could go into either Tangrowth or Ex Excadrill. Excadrill takes nothing from rocks because it four times resists rocks. Tangrowth takes nothing from t bolt because it's AV. So one of the two is gonna come out and Brof is just just T-Bolt in case Zomok stays in with the Tornadoes. Kinda has to be careful that he doesn't use up all his T-Bolts, but ah, even if he uses them up, he should be able to PP stall the Tornadoes with his double pressure birds plus Chansey. Like worst case he can let the Chansey get knocked off. That, I mean letting Chansey get knocked off would be bad for him, but um, if it comes to like the PP stall versus Tornadoes, he might be willing to do that. As um, Zomok Iron Head there in case Brofus wanted to go into the ex uh, into the Sableye to block the Rapid Spin, I think. But yeah, we do see Rocky Helmet confirmed and Excadrill gets spin um, gets shipped down from Rocky Helmet. Excadrill has no way to get the health back. I don't think Zomok has Wish Pass. Yeah, he has no Wish Pass because the Clef doesn't have space to run Wish. And Excadrill has no leftovers, so it's gonna get chipped. Uh, so CM's up there. Brofus just goes into Zapdos in case a Moonblast comes out. Zapdos would have stalled out to Moonblast PP. And now Brofus can just switch into... Chansey, Pukumuku, um, yeah, one of those two. I would probably just go to Chansey here. Plus, for Moonblast, it's not a threat at all to Chansey. You also don't care about T-Wave, you have Natural Cure. And even Pukumuku T-Wave doesn't matter at all. Uh, I assume he also has Hebel on Chansey. I don't think he showed it yet. So let's go for Protect. That's also a completely fine play on Brofist's side. I would not have made that play, but I get why he made it. But Zomo got it in the um, Tornadoes, predicting Brofist to switch out or um, go for Protect. Basically, he bricked him to not go for T-Bolt, and he got um, the, the Tornadoes in, which was... I mean, he didn't even heal anything with regen because the rocks are still up. So it, it didn't really matter. It just He just stole the Protect PP. But yeah, you always... Um, Brofist always Earthquakes with Hippodon on Excadrill. I completely agree with that play. In case Zomok wants to spin, then the Excadrill would be dead. So I agree with Earthquaking. So Zomok uh, might just want to go for Softball here. Yep. I think it's safe keeping Clefable healthy, so Brofus went into his Pukumuku. Brofus can just, um... Yeah, if Brofus blocks here, then the pu the Clef would be trapped. And then the Clef would get PP stalled, I think. Especially if this is rest Pukumuku. So Zomok shouldn't stay in. Yeah, he goes in a Torn. So yeah, Brofus does try to block. If, if Zomok stayed in there, um, it pretty much would have been a dead Clefable. Unless he could Parahex the Pukumuku down. Uh, so now Zapdos... Gonna come out again, most likely. Does he double out? Like, goes for knockoff, loses to knockoff PP, gets some baby chip on Zapdos, nice 10%. Knockoff turned Hurricane, yeah. Last move is a U turn or superpower, is what I'm thinking at this point. I feel like he doesn't need Heat Wave on this team. So, um, gets Exterior in, and he can potentially go for Rapid Spin, but he would take. Um, as he goes, he goes for SD. And yeah, this is like near Max Defense or Max Defense at on so Brovis could just Earthquake here. Um, or he can switch into Pukumuku if he doesn't want to risk. Like, Zomo can potentially flinch the Hippowdon and get it into range from Corkscrew Crash. Like, Iron Head flinch into Corkscrew Crash would definitely kill the Hippowdon. But if he doesn't get the flinch, he loses his Excadrill. So, like, yeah, he doesn't want to risk it. He just goes into Tango. So, I guess he wants to try and stall out the Earthquakes from the Hippowdon. That's kind of smart, yeah. But, like, Brovis just has all the tools to win this game pretty much. And yeah, we're reaching turn 100 soon. I hope this doesn't take too, too long. Uh, if it's longer than one hour, um, it's, it's gonna be annoying, but yeah, we will see. So Motors is out. Motors could go for Roost or we could see a switch. Um, I personally wouldn't, yeah, just go for Sub. I was gonna say, I personally wouldn't Roost if you're already at like a good amount of health. So Volcanion goes for Steam Eruption, only has four PP left now, I think, right? Because of pressure, yep. And Brofus switches out into like either Chansey or Pukumuku here, exactly, Chansey comes out, gets burned, completely fine, has natural cure. So now he can pivot into Pukumuku or he can go for Healable with Chansey or Softbolt, um, whatever he wants to do. Goes for Healable, confirming that he has Healable, Softbolt and Seismic Toss and last move could be Toxic. Um, I don't know, might also be Protect on this to make extra sure Banter doesn't destroy him, I'm not sure. 
But yeah, Zomok is switching around a little bit so he doesn't waste any PP because this might come down to a PP stall. I really hope it doesn't come down to a PP stall. Um, I think Brovis can definitely win before turn 1000. But Zomok might have to go for PP stall war win or or he might have to go for Excadrill SD into flinching everything. But he needs like multiple flinches. So there's another SD. Um, yeah, smart player is switching out again. Because you don't want to... Like you want to stall out all the off quicks from the Hepalon if you can before you try to um well actually even if the Brofist, even if Brofist uses all the off quick with her powder on, he still has other ways of beating this excadrill so i guess someone might eventually just go for it huh but i would just switch back into like um tangrowth torn clef i mean clef is a safe play but i mean there's no way Brofist is clicking toxic here so tangrowth is also a fine play i feel so the Iron Head is trying to get the flinch, and does Brofist just off quick? Yep. And Axel is going down, so now Brofist has no way to get rid of these hazards. And this is looking like it's kind of over. I mean, it's it's looking like it was over anyway, and like Zoma could maybe get it to a tie, but I don't think he could have won. But now it's looking even tougher because Rocks are here to stay, which means Volcanion cannot come in much anymore. Tita is, um, I think, at like five percent after Rocks, or or maybe even four percent. How did Brovis know that he wouldn't knock off there goes Chansey? Oh yeah, yeah, he knows that he would try to kill the Hippodrome with Hurricane, but yeah, damn, damn, Brovis with the Scouter, man. I mean, he just pivoted it into Zapdos there because it covered knockoff, but it also covered superpower. Um, but yeah, Brovis uh, either gonna T-Bolt or Roost. He yeah, probably Roost. That's just T-Bolt. Okay, he T-Bolt the in the Taunt. Okay, I get it. But yeah, Zomok made a safe play in the Tangros. That's the Protect, which will be able to stall out 2 BP, 2 HP Isis in this case, unless it's HP Fire. So Roost is up there and stalled out to knock off PP and eventually he can switch into Moltres. And yeah. This is over and pretty much Gnosis is gonna win World Cup. I don't see how Zomok is gonna win this. Um, I already went over his and yeah, Volcanion cannot keep coming in. And Brofus can Roost or Flamethrower here. Yeah, just Flamethrower gets some extra chip on that Volcanion. The rocks help him. Keep this boy low, 12 subs left, 13 roosts, and Volcanion only has first steam eruption. I think 17 flamethrower PP now with that flamethrower used. 15 off power. And yeah, eventually he switches out into either Pukumuko or Chansey. Let's go Chansey. And yeah, uh, Sansi can just go for seismic toss here as Zomok tries to get a burn. Um yeah, like Volcanion would have probably died to rocks or maybe lift rocks on 1%, but that was not, not really a point in keeping it. Now he sees up with the clef. Brof is just playing it safe, going for softball, and now he can go. Um, he can either spam Seismic Toss for a few turns, or he can also go to Pukumuku and, and attempt to block the Clefable in again. He can also go Moltres, as long as the Clef is not at plus 6, Moltres should be able to eat um, Moonblast relatively easy. Zomak goes for T Wave there, anticipating a switch into either Moltres or Pukumuku. But yeah, you guys can see this is pretty much over. Tita um, has like 4 or 5% after rocks. Torn will get PP stalled. Rocks are on Zomok's side and he can't get rid of them. Clef can break Brofus' team. And Tangros is also walled by the birds. If Brofus can ever heal the Sableye, which he can potentially do on on um, the Tangros, or like if he doubles the, the Sableye in on the Tangros, he can potentially heal it on that. I don't think Gigadrian would kill the Sableye. Maybe Leafstorm would kill, depends on if he has Gigadrian or Leafstorm. But yeah, he goes to plus 6 now. Brofus is eventually just gonna switch out into Pukumuku. Um, and he does decide to do that now. Because obviously at plus 6, with Chansey being paralyzed, it would be a bit risky to stay in with Chansey. So he T-Waves, do we see block? Yup, and now it's pretty much, now it's trapped. Now this is a dead kill fable. I mean, it's gonna take a fat minute to PP stall it. He has Spy that helps him PP stall it. Gets rid of four extra Moonblast PP. So now he only has 70 Moonblast left. And he goes for Moonblast again. So now he has 60 Moonblast left. He spites again. So now he only has 12 Moonblast left. So he's gonna get stalled out. He has to hope for Paras here so he can kill the um, Pukumuku. And Brofus reveals rest. Yeah, that's pretty much the same that that high used versus the Trap God. Recover, recover block. Spite. And rest. So, um, Brofus is just gonna click uh, rest again whenever he wakes up or recover. Well, recover is also fine play, it doesn't really matter. Zomok clicks Calm Mind. But yeah, Zomok is gonna get PP stalled as he does T Wave there. Full Para, completely fine for Brofus. Full Para even helps him because he doesn't use any PP that turn. Spites again, getting rid of more Moonblast PP. Only four Moonblast left. Now, Moonblast again, only three Moonblast left. Does he spite again? He rests, okay. Yeah, rest, was, rest or recover was the correct play there. Because you don't 
wanna risk losing the Pukumuku to Parahax because you already almost stalled out all the Moonblast. So definitely was the correct play, but I was just hoping, uh, I was just saying that he could spite there because I'm, um, that would get rid of all the Moonblast, I think. And I was also just trying to see, I was just trying to see the spites um, wear down the PP. Is that the correct term? And probably not the correct term. But spite just helps speed up this process of PP stalling a little bit. So he clicks recover there, even when he's not at full. It doesn't really matter what he clicks. Um, not like he needs all his recovers and all his rests. So this Clefable is going to die to struggle eventually because it's blocked, which means it can never switch out. And spite and rest help Brofist PP stall this Clefable with ease. Um, yeah, like it helps him a lot. So who is on Northeast? I can get my, I can get the team list ready to to say congrats Northeast. <laughs> I will, I will actually do that on my phone right now. Let me start my phone. So what? How does Zomok win this at this point? He has like no way of winning. Um, he would have to hope for a stroke on Brofist's side that Brofist hits the X button by mistake, or that Brofist's internet dies and he, or that he like has to do something IRL. I mean, even if Brofist's internet dies. Um, unless he deceased at a specific point, they would just stop the timer, I'm pretty sure. And they would just um, play, keep playing when he gets back on. Or if he has, or if he doesn't get back on, he, they might recreate it. So I really don't see a way out for Zomok at this point. It was crazy but, um, before World Cup started. But yeah, you guys can see the PP real quick for yourself. I'm not going to talk about the PP. It's really obvious that this Clef is just going to get PP stalled out. Before World Cup started, um, Brofist was 0-2 versus Zomok in Tours and now it's gonna be 2-2 after this game as he beat him uh, once already in World Cup Finals I think and this is the rematch. Um, obviously not the coolest way um, to win the, win the cup but yeah I'm fine with this I'm fine with this. Like I, I said earlier to my boy T um, I, I could see one of them bringing stall I wasn't sure who and there was someone asked me I think it was Eric Suaba asked me um, or ask in general how often Brofist used stall so far and I was like I don't know how often he used stall but I knew he used it once this SPL and yeah for some reason I had a feeling one of them might stall again like I'm not saying I predicted this or anything I just said one of them I have a feeling might bring it I didn't say Brofist in particular I, I was also thinking maybe Zamok would bring it I didn't think it would be a mirror match of stall which that would be a pain in the ass it would take forever that was the case in high was the trap god but yeah, um, what is Zomok going here for here? For his opponent's internet connection to die? Or maybe he's thinking everything through if he has a win con. At this point, uh, after this Clefable struggles to death and Tita's pretty much dead as well. Zomok only has a Tangled and a Torn alive. And I mean, they have region and they can switch around. But um, Brofus has all the tools to easily win versus those two mods. Um, if he can toxic them, it's pretty much over. And he has Toxic on multiple mons. It's confirmed that he has Toxic on Sableye. Well, Sableye is probably is put, is potentially not going to do anything. But he also has Toxic on Hippodon and maybe Chansey, right? I don't know if he revealed the last move on Chansey yet. I don't think he did. But yeah, I'm getting my f uh, my phone list. <laughs> getting my phone ready here to have the list of people. Oh yeah, Finch said... <laughs> like two minutes before the game started, Finch said you better give me a shout out, Doc Rich or something like that, and smoked his chat. I'm not sure what he wants a shout out for exactly, but I guess shout outs. Um, I just wanted to let him know that I saw that. <laughs> yeah, shout outs, Finch is a cool guy. I mean, I don't know him personally, but he seems to be cool. Um, so I'm happy. F um, I think he doesn't have a trophy so far. I'm not sure on this, but I think he doesn't have a trophy. So. But yeah, um, I was kind of rooting for, well, I was fine with both teams winning, but I was rooting for Northeast a little bit more. Because um, yeah, Rob Jr. is on Northeast and he's really cool. He definitely deserves the trophy. He's like, he got into the tournament scene, I think, like one year ago, maybe a little bit more than one year ago. He was like quite unknown. Uh, I think OUPL was the first tournament games that I recorded where Rob Jr. played in. And also, if you're watching this, Rob, don't worry. Um, I uploaded one of your losses, not all your wins. I will still upload your wins. <laughs> I know you will. I know you also won a game, but uh, was it two games? I don't remember, but I will also upload those wins that you had. Um, yeah. What else was I gonna say? I will potentially do like. I will like do a shot on live. Um, you guys can decide. I will either do a shot on live where I follow. Damn, someone really timer stalling here. I will either do a shot on live where I follow around old T guys. Um, just watching their games 
maybe analyzing maybe um if we see a cool team we can just um how to steal a team with dark Rich. like look over the team <laughs> look over the team snatch it while they're playing um that's if you guys want that i can just like spectate um old team ladder and like talk about those games a little bit like talk about what's popping on the old team ladder a little bit um I've seen webs a lot, I've seen a little bit of stall, I've seen reuniclus, bulky offense, what else have I seen? I've seen rain and some other forms of HO. Um, yeah, I've seen webs a lot actually, like two or three different webs teams. My man UB made a webs team which is pretty cool. I'm gonna pause real quick just because, okay I just wanted to say the other option would be um, a short on live where I just play myself. But I don't really have a high alt at the moment. But yeah, just going over the health on Brofist Mons. Um, everything is pretty healthy besides Sailor, he's at 44. I'm gonna pause it and um, put the music back. Oh, never, never mind, he finally clicks a move. So Spite comes out. I'm gonna bring this down to 12 T Wave, 9 Softball, and 2 Moonblast. And then eventually he's gonna have to struggle. But yeah, I'm gonna pause it real quick and add the music back because my playlist just ended. You can see uh, Pukumuku has a lot of PP left. Damn, I made this playlist like an hour ago before the game. Like Matt Hughes, um, music is from Matt Hughes. Link to his channel is gonna be in the description if you guys wanna check him out. It's like a really, yeah, he has really cool uh, remixes. Uh, most of you probably already know him because I think is it Aim who used his music before? Yeah, Aim used his music in videos like a few years ago already. Um, what was I gonna say? I lost my thought process. Yeah, my man T lo loves the song that I'm playing at the moment, so shoutouts to my man T. I uh, hope he will do ulti later, I wanna spectate him play. So Spide brings the chance, he down to one T wave, 9 softball and 2 moonblast. And then this, I said chance, yeah, I meant Clefable, my bad. This poor Clefable is gonna struggle to death eventually, and then Tita is pretty much dead. So only a Tangrus and Torn left that can, I guess, try to region stall around, but I don't think that will work. Because eventually they will get toxic and yeah. God, my phone is not doing what I want it to do. I'm just trying to get on small and common.com on my forums. On the forums. On my phone. I can't talk. But yeah, um, nice PP, nice timer stall going on. <laughs> is, is he like. I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to be rude. If he, is he just timer stalling or is he um, trying to think if he has a way of winning? I mean, he could also just be making food or something, you never know. But yeah, I'm gonna pause again until they make a move. Okay, they still haven't made a move, but I found my I found Team Norse is the entire team uh, on my phone. Okay, last T-Wave is gone, nice miss. <laughs> oh yeah, he, but yeah, let me read it real quick. So Captain is Brofist, who is playing at the moment, the guard. The type that, like, when you need Brofist to win a tiebreaker man, she's gonna win it. He's really reliable. He does it here again, most likely. Uh, Co-captain ABR. But yeah, pretty much I want to say at this point. Um, congrats to Nauseas, because I don't see a way of winning for Zomok. So, uh, Captain Brofist, Co-captain ABR. Hi, um, other Sun Moon OU slots. Hi, I think that's how you pronounce him. Sabella. Uh, Aura's updated Kanto, who had a rough World Cup. I don't think he won a game. Maybe he won one game. But I think he also couldn't use all the teams he wanted to use. I think sometimes they gave him a team and he had to use that specific team. But I don't know a background about that, I'm not gonna get into that. Black White slot is Finchinator, Bob. DPB slot August, um, PDC and ADV um, at the beginning and then eventually I think they subbed him out. Uh, GSC, BKC, The God and RBY Wild RBY Wild 6. Okay, so Clive is pretty much dead. Seven softballs and two Moombas left. You guys can see the PP stall yourself. I'm just gonna. Actually, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm um, substitutes on team. No, um, actually, I'm gonna read them soon. Let's just see this. Um, Clefable use it up the last. P it's last PP. Poor Clefable. Four softballs. Two Moombas. So does he just spite again here? Bob. So this should be out of softballs now with the spite. Yup. So two Moombas left. Brofus can just click recover or rest here or whatever. And yeah, substitutes on Northeast are AIM, Poke AIM. <laughs> I don't know why I said that so weird, but yeah, he played one game, he got subbed in in finals and he won. L Le Matre, Le M I don't know how you pronounce him. Um, I don't think, does he play DPP? I'm not sure what he plays. I really don't know what he plays. Maybe he plays Sun Moon as well. I have really no idea. You can let me know in the comments. OB is a sub. I think he played Auras one game or two games. I'm not sure. Yeah, Rob Jr. is a sub, but he also played. He was a sub at first, but then he played some games. Did I say M got subbed in in finals? I don't know if that was the correct term. He got to start in finals, he didn't get subbed in. And ZF, 
Um, I think it was their ADV slot after PDC got subbed out. Or after, like, they decided to put ZF in instead of PDC. And it says Fallen Comrade Star, because I think Star is too banned at the moment, otherwise he would also be on the team, I think. So yeah, obviously if Zomok somehow wins this, I will have to take everything back and read the shoutouts for... <laughs> uh, read the entire US West squadron, but... Chance, uh, Clefable uses his last Moonblast, I think, and now he has to struggle. Yep, no PP left. So poor Clefable gonna struggle to death. Um, struggle, yeah. Gets rid of one fourth of the health. Nice, nice aftermath. <laughs> so poor Clef gonna go down and Brofus can just spam recover or whatever he wants. Yep. Let's go for recover. And what am I gonna put into something? I don't wanna be like clickbait or anything, right? I'm gonna put. Uh, I guess I will put Pugumuku for Brofist. Do I put Pugumuku? Yeah, I think I'll put Pugumuku for Brofist. And. Not sure what I put for Zomog yet. Like nothing really puts in work, put in work for Zomok in this game. Tornadoes was a little bit annoying for Brofus, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a big threat. Um, Excadrill would have to get flinches, like I said earlier, to put any work in. But yeah, now this next struggle is gonna kill the Clefable. And I guess Brofus is playing it super safe and just clicking recover here multiple times to keep Pukumuku at 100%. So Tangress comes out. So um, Brofus can either switch out into Motorous Zapdos or he can Toxic this, because I think Pukumuku does outspeed Tangros, they run mi minus speed, right? Um, so now we will see if it's Giga Drain or Leaf Storm, because I assume Zomok is going to click the grass step here, just in case Brofus wants to stay in the Pukumuku. Um, wait, does he, Pukumuku even have Toxic? It, I don't remember. It, no, it didn't have Toxic, my bad. Did I say it had? It was Block, Spide, Recover. And rest. It doesn't have toxic, right? I was gonna say he could stay in and toxic this, but it doesn't have toxic. Like if he's faster than this. So he's probably gonna switch out, right? Switch out to one of his birds. Um that's yeah, switching into one of the birds is definitely the play. So Zomak doubles in the tornado. Um there's a sp okay, he just what goes for spy, okay. So he was he's trying to sack the Pukumoku, okay. That's also a fine play. He doesn't need the Pukumoku to win at this point. It was able to trap the Clefable and um, kill it in a painful way with PP stall. So back into Tangros as now Brofus switches into Hippowdon. Okay, and Hippowdon should be fast and Hippowdon has Toxic as he does go for Toxic. Do we see Kikidrain or Leaf Storm? Leaf Storm, bop. Okay, so there's Leaf Storm. Now he could even heal his Sable if he wants to because it's at minus two to Tangros, but he doesn't have to. He can also just go Zapdos. Zapdos can come out and then spam t bolt or click Protect. Because Tangros is uh, Toxic, then Tangros eventually has to switch out if he wants to keep it alive. And eventually he has to like sack the T-Tar. And yeah, this game is over with um with Tangros being toxic, Tita being pretty much dead, and Tornadoes obviously can only Maybe Tornadoes can live one T-Boot, but it can't live two, so yeah. No way for Zomok to win. Like I mean I already knew it was over, but the toxic on Tangros speeds up the game. That way we don't have to go through the entire PP stall. Um and Maybe Zomo can stay in for one more turn, or he might just sack the Tita this turn. Um, both of these are gonna click Protect or T-Bolt. Both plays are fine, I think. So let's just click Protect, Tango stays in. Two in power, um, PP gets stalled out. Nice pressure coming in clutch. Well, yeah, get ready. If, you, if you're playing ulti, get ready to see this team on the ladder, I'm pretty sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Really not sure what to put in the thumbnail for Zomok. I know in the last stall game I uploaded I put like months that made it seem as if it's not really stalled, so I'm not gonna do that again. I'm definitely gonna put Pukumuku. Pukumuku is like obvious that it's stalled, right? So that's not clickbait, right? So Tita comes out, um, he just roosts there, Tita dies to rocks plus poison. Tangos comes back out and now Brofus can either click protect or spam T-Bolt. You can probably just spam T-Bolt. I mean even protect is fine, it doesn't matter. If Tangrus uh, stays in it, dies to poison eventually, and if Torn comes out, even if it can live a T-Bolt, it's gonna be low and die to the next T-Bolt, or it's probably gonna die to T-Bolt plus Sandstorm. So that's just Protect playing, it's super safe, and now we can spam T-Bolt. You can also Roost here if he wants to, um, but just spamming T-Bolt should be fine, or he switches out, bring it extra safe. 
Not willing to let the Zapdos get chipped more, keeping it healthy for the Tornadoes, ensuring the victory. I mean, he had it one no matter what, I feel, but that was also fine. Flamethrower killed the Tangros. Now Tornadoes comes out um, in a few seconds. <laughs> that is. And now Hurricane has to confuse everything. So this is actually going to kill with Sandstorm or this left... Yeah, he didn't have leftovers. Sandstorm would have killed him unless he roosted there. But he does confuse and hit itself, so Brofist... Actually loses two months, so it's not a 6-0, but now we can just click T-Bolt here and that will end the game. You can also click Protect first to PP stall, but yeah, there's no point. The only way Zomo can prevent... Um, like, the only way Tornadus doesn't die this turn is if he Hurricane confuses the Zapdos and it hits itself. But even if that happens, I don't think he has enough PP to beat Chansey and Pukumuku as well. And even Sableye can potentially live a Hurricane, so... T-Bolt just kills, doesn't get the confused. I thank you guys for watching. Congratulations to US North. I already read their entire team out. I think I didn't. F I hope I didn't forget anyone. And it was a fun World Cup. I still have some cool games that I haven't uploaded yet, so stay tuned for those. And hopefully, I will have some guest uploads from UB eventually again. Man is really busy, um, so unfortunately, he hasn't been able to upload. Also, my man Seal lost his laptop. I already talked about that, but I, th I hope he's getting a new laptop in a few weeks. But yeah, Brofist clutches for Northeast. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And even if you didn't enjoy, smash the like button anyway, because I took my time out of the day. Narrating 51 minute or 52 minute storm. And peace out, friends, and grats Northeast once again. Peace out.